Welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast, Snarkmas Day something or other, like 14 or something. I don't know what it is. We're halfway through. Halfway through. And my last video I did before the two you just saw was me saying, hey, I should cover Bits of Brie again. It's been a long time. And so here we are, Bits. How are you? Oh my God. It's been like forever. Hi, dang. Yeah, like things have been going on and stuff and awesomeness. I don't even know what's been going on, but we got this video here called 2023 Spring Life Update. Q&A with bits of bish. <laughs> Can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. But before we do that, we gotta spin the old wheel, do a little dance on winning prize. Jennifer Coffinauer, Coggenauer, Coggenauer, I don't know what that is, but you win a prize, reach out to Josh at the dadchallengepodcast.com, your shirt size and your address, let's go. It's that time of year, DCP is here, to snark and to jeer, for these buttholes to hear. Don't forget to book your pap smear, snarkmas. 2023. Ho, ho, ho. Nana, you son of a bitch. So the last thing we updated with Bits of Brie was she got a divorce. We all saw it coming 10,000 miles away. They moved to a mosquito farm in Hawaii for a little while. Probably sold that, made a little bit of money. Came back, separated everything. Probably split the money. She got the house, apparently. <laughs> okay. Apparently Adam was a dingleberry though. So we all knew that sort of, I don't think that bits is a huge dingleberry, but she's definitely done some shady stuff, especially exploit her children and stuff. We haven't talked about her in a long, 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 long time after that whole thing. So I think the update is that she married a guy or is dating a guy with a boat or something. That's all I know. I've never seen it. Nothing at all. So let's, uh, let's snark, shall we? Hey, it's three. Oh, for a well, she's still using iMovie and the graphics that come with it. All this time, you can you can you just figure out how to use another program or use a different graphic? I've I've made so many of these graphics in the past. Jeez. 2023 life update slash Q and A. Mm -hmm. I have been in the middle. What are you wearing? Today of making so many reels and YouTube reels for you guys. I cannot wait for you to see them, but taking a little break right now because to make more videos. There were so many questions over on Instagram. She's the okay, there's a guy out there, I forget his name. He's on Instagram. He makes fun of influencers, influencers to say that there were so many questions about everything, so let's answer. No, there weren't. There were not questions. Bits of B, bits of bitch doesn't even like go here anymore. She doesn't, she has like five video views now. Like, she used to be, like, the height. It's been a long time since I checked her out. So, Brianna K. She has 440,000. Okay, she's grown by 40,000 since last time we talked about her. Oh, she got a boob job. <laughs> what? Bits of, like, I guess, divorce and then boobs. Sounds like a Kira thing. Is that a thing? You just, like, divorce and get boobs? It's... It's a weird thing that some people do, but it is what it is. So she gets, uh, she uploaded six days ago, 25,000 views. So she averages, you know, over the month, she still does okay, but she only posts like once a month, twice a month. She doesn't make a lot of money on here. So I don't know what she's doing. Maybe she married a rich guy or she's dating a super rich guy. Is that what it is? Somebody tell me. I need the tea. Um, so you know, he has a boat. These questions are so it either means he's actually broke because he spends money on boats and stupid things like that. Just saying. Or he's rich and he has a boat because he's got like, I don't care, money. In no particular order, I just opened up Instagram. I'm gonna just answer as many questions as I can right now. Um Remember the nostril flare. I'm gonna answer Instagram messages right now. Um, Elena Punk asked, are you happy Punk ass? with your life right now? And I would say yes. Well, you would also say you were happy with your life when you weren't. So we don't believe you. We don't believe you. Holy teeth whitening though. Holy. Like she just did it. She tried to glow up ring, right? So she gets divorced from Adam and then he's like, let's glow up. So he knows what he's missing or whatever. Probably he's probably already moved on to the next one though. I bet. 
Not saying she deserved it. She didn't because no one deserves to be cheated on. And I think that's what he did. Um, but like the glow up, I guess. Like Brianna is not somebody who's like, she's fine. Right? There's nothing. That she took care of herself. Like looked like she had it all together. But again, one more family vlogger, one more influencer that never has it all together. But they show you that they do. And they don't. Um, I feel like this will definitely be a very positive life update. Sierra? He has a boat! Ashley asked, what do you use in your teeth? They're so white. Dentists do it. So there's two things I do. I brush with whitening toothpaste. It's the Crest, like, brilliant white toothpaste. Mm -hmm. And then... And then I go get it treated. I always drink my coffee with a straw. How nah, you are the dentist. Sorry. Or you don't eat things. <laughs> That dog. Bria's world of ideas asked, how do you organize your content and business stuff for YouTube? It, it, the dog made me realize too, like remember they went to Hawaii and they left their dog of six months back home and they thought Hawaii would be the answer to like their marriage problems. <laughs> made it worse. They spend like so much money there. Woo. Maybe that was her plan. Spend all the money so she doesn't have to split it. I love using Google Docs. It's one of the ways that I just- That's what people are asking you? How do you organize your content? And visualize sort of everything that I'm planning for. That reminds me. It's all going to remind me. Remember she did the content class where she was charging thousands of dollars? And it was the most garbage video. Like it was basically she ripped off a lot of people. That's what happened. And now I'm remembering everything. When it comes to decorations or outfits or even my schedule. And then I like using the notes section on both my computer and on my phone. Because it will all sync together. And that's kind of how I can keep my checklist of everything that I need to get done. Or when I get random ideas. When she I keeps her house tight though. You got to give it to Bits of Bish. She keeps that place tight. Right? That place is always immaculate. I'm out and about, I kind of put it all in there. So I use Google Docs and notes on my phone. Axteen Perkins asked, bathroom reno update. Like, so the oh my gosh, reno updates. Bathroom is in the middle of a huge makeover and oh I will God. share like, everything oh once it's completed. But it's she doesn't make her money on social media anymore. There's no way, or she probably does, just doesn't make a lot, right? Adam's paying child support. A hundo. In the middle of it right now. So I'm sharing a bathroom with the three kids at the moment and I'm just so excited. Hope and 24 asked, how did you meet your wife? Hey, here we go. It's the tea. This is what we want to know, not what you use Google calendars for. So I met my boyfriend on his boat. What do you mean? You just went to someone's boat? Hello, friend. You look single and rich. Let's meet. What do you mean on his boat? Were you on his boat? What for? I guess she'll answer. Um, I was out with Chrissy, who does my hair. Oh, hi, Chrissy. One of her friends knew somebody, and they were like, do you want to come on the boat? We got on the boat. Don't get on strangers' boats, okay? Trafficking. And I just remember he was like, can you take off your shoes? Did you mind? <laughs> I see some else, not gonna lie. Take off your shoes, please. And so we took off our shoes, sat down. That's what you remember? This meat cute is, hey, lady, don't mess up my boat, bish. Didn't even like stay there for probably two minutes until they were like, oh, we're going to go back to the yacht club. And Chrissy had parked. So is this what you guys do when you're single? You go to yacht clubs? I mean, they're our worst place to meet men. Yacht clubs? Rich dudes. That's why you're at the yacht club. Is that a thing? Am I just... I'm, I'm saying it jokingly, but that's the thing, right? You want to meet men that have cash. I'd say private clubs is probably a good place to go, right? Interesting. Smart. That's actually smart. Parked her car there and she's like, oh no, we can't go. So you just went on some stranger's boat because you were there? That's weird. To the yacht club, like my car is parked here. So we got off the boat. It was very, very brief. And we didn't ever like reconnect for probably a couple months after that. That's and weird. And here we are. Love. Well, no. You don't get to be like, I met him. He told me to take my shoes off. We left and now here we are. What happened in between, lady? What do you mean here we are? What? How did he get your number? Like, you left so many details out. There's something missing here. And that makes me wonder what you're lying about and why you're lying. Why are you lying? Questions on here are, how did I meet my boyfriend? So I answered that one. No. I mean, you met him that day. But I guess she's right. That's how I met him. But then not how it, like, maybe the question is, how did you get together? Because you just left a whole bunch out there. And just asking them to because he's the one doing the bathroom renovation. Bowman. Did you hook up with a guy because he can do your bathroom renovations? Because 
props. I mean, good for you. <laughs> Nailed asked favorite makeup items that you use, lip colors, and brands. So I always use- No, go back to the other stuff. I don't care about this. For my foundation and my powder, I have not extremely sensitive skin, but I'd say a little sensitive. Like you can get a little red if I'm not using like high quality products or have allergenic products. So I really like for minerals. Totally. And then minerals. for my lips, what I love is, is minerals. I believe it's tar. It's the brand tar. It's like the it's tar. Arajuka Juke. lip. It's like juicy Juke. lip. They Jesus. have some that are plumping. They have some that are just gloss. Like that's what I have on. I put though, it's the MAC Velvet. I'll put Teddy lipstick on first, and then I put that gloss over. I don't think she's doing fillers and stuff yet. It's coming soon, though. Top of it. That's what I'm wearing in this video. But sometimes I'll just use two. They have... She does fillers, right? Because there's no wrinkles on her face. She's, like, in her 30s. She does fillers, right? She's just not noticeable. Doesn't do lip fillers? Maybe she does. A lip liner. So sometimes I'll do the lip liner and just put the gloss over it. But Nobody it cares about this. Get to the other questions, about boat dude. Usually I always either do like a lip liner or a lip Does she have other stories about how she met this guy? Jason asked, what are your top three favorite perfumes? What? So I love Britney Spears Fantasy. I have used that since high school. Okay, it's time to get a new cologne. Um, and for a while I wouldn't wear it because when Landon was actually having some sensitivities when he was younger, I was just like staying away from Landon is allergic to Britney Spears. I mean, a lot of us were. Met but those are all gone now. He doesn't have that anymore. Um, so I wear perfume around my children. So I do wear it now and I never put it like directly on my skin. I just always like put things like on my clothes. Yeah, but then the pH is off. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta like harness your pH. And then um, Vanilla Bean Noel, you guys know I oh love, my gosh, love, Vanilla Bean Noel. Love, love that scent. And there's another one I just got recently. It's called On Cloud Nine or maybe Cloud Nine. Oh, yeah. Cloud Nine so good too. So those are my three faves at the moment. Maya asks, genuinely, how are you? Sending all love and positive vibes your way. Positivity vibes uh, and crystal uh, vibrations into your belly. Thank you. Um, genuinely, I'm good. I would say everything has changed so much. There's obviously That's some true. things that I really miss. Like I miss. Hawaii. Hawaii. I look back and I Aloha, pineapple. If you're wondering where that came from, and if you ever receive a bracelet from me, it says Dad John's podcast on the outside. If you flip the bracelet around, it says Aloha Pineapple came from her. Because she every time she's in Hawaii, she's like, Aloha, everybody. You're not allowed to say that. Okay, unless you're from there. I get, you know, the memories of one year ago and the memories of your marriage falling apart? That sounds weird. Just yesterday I saw like I was on the North Shore. I will say this. Everybody who has lived in Hawaii, like especially the other because apparently they all go there for some reason, um, they do all miss it. So Hawaii must be a magical ass place. This is what I'm saying. I've never been, but I, apparently it's like every single person that goes there is like they pine to be back there. I mean, the Beastons are trying to go back. I should do a video on them soon because there's some stuff. We are taking the kids for bike rides and we were watching surfing and right. I loved living there. Like I... I'm so grateful that we got the time to be there. Mm -hmm. um, but you disrupted your dog's life, your kid's life, your kid's school, everything. Weird. All to try to save a marriage that would, could not be saved. I also love living here in Ohio too because- No you don't, it's Ohio. I get to be around my friends and my family here. And, and Micah Stafford lives there. Remember, that's how she came out right here. Her and Micah were best buds forever. I appreciate you went to, if I'm not mistaken, I'm probably mistaken, they went to school together? I don't know. And, you know, I just am trying to enjoy every single phase of this journey. Divorce? Oh, and journey. That's what I was And I overall am feeling just so grateful for ever, every single opportunity that's come my way. Meaning ad sponsorships. And she did one. I was going through it. She did one that said, where is it? I was like, what? It's kind of clickbaity. Oh, here it is. Uh, a choice I made for me. And she's got a sponsorship from like the government of Canada to talk about COVID booster vaccines and turned off the comments. She got paid for that. That's really weird. Government's using bits of bish. And anything that's been hard or the things that I've definitely messed up. Um, Cause you know, we're all human. We all make mistakes and. Mm. I thought it was all him though. So she sounded like that. She's like, did some stuff too. Don't do things perfectly. Um, I'm just still grateful for those lessons and know that it's just like going to guide me to where I'm supposed to go. 
Yeah. That was a big load of BS. You know. Okay, just wait. Just check out the CV now. I'm sorry. Yeah, and we'll get back to it. Let's get started. Bye. In a year, in five years, in 10 years, or 20 years, or 50 years. 50 years? You're gonna be out here in 50 years? Tiny Woods asked, do you think you'll stay in your current house long term? I have no idea. Well, wow. depends how rich boat guy is. That's what I'm saying. Where's, <laughs> you see this beautiful giant house because clearly she has custody of the children. Um, but <laughs> it's like really weird that the dads, it's almost like all the dads were like relinquished their power and their like children during these divorces. So crazy to me. I could never. The children are my world, man. I mean, I'm never going to get, I don't want to ever get divorced, but I'm just saying like in these situations, it always is like, dang, man, he probably lives in a box down by the river in this market. Um, I think a year ago. Could be a fridge box, might be a little expensive, but even had a little bit of insulation in there. Couldn't have told you everything that ended up happening. And I just don't know, but. We could have though, and we did. We all could have told you what was happening because we told you in real time what was happening because you can't hide it. And then it all happened. So you could have, you're just in denial. I will just try to take care and love on this home. It has been filled with a lot of beautiful memories and I feel like it's where I- And I clean it every week. You see it. I clean the same thing time and time again. Okay. For the most- Toilet cleaning with me. I'm just so thankful for it. Next no, question. It's not easy. Emily Lauterbach said, how do you motivate yourself to get up and work out so early in the morning? I have not been doing the best job at- <laughs> So I can't answer this question because I don't do that. This lately, I feel like whenever I travel or there has been a lot of work stuff happening, just behind- Didn't she go to Disney with her kids? Ew. The scenes that my schedule sometimes can just go out the window. I think it's especially travel always makes it go out the window and I need to- Why are you traveling so much? Let me turn my ringer off. Yeah. My mom's texting me. Um, but you have to kind of like reset yourself. So I would just say if this is something you really, really, really want to do, just make it that first week. Be like every single day this week, I'm going to do this for myself. Oh, it's it smoked. And then it's like so Boring. Yes. I've been doing it. Grammy Samino asked, is Brad the contractor, Mr. November? Smile, wink. Yes. I don't, so, don't know what that means. Oh. So he's a contractor that has a boat. Contractors can be really wealthy, especially in this day and age. You know how hard it is to find a good contractor who's good at what they do, like legitimate, like legit contractors? Shh. They make bank if they're good at what they do. If you're lost on Instagram. Again, is she getting a free bathroom rental? It's not free, but you know what I mean? Probably about a week ago now, I introduced Brad and I was just like kind of joking around with him. I was like, what's your title and all of this? And he's like, I'm your general contractor. <laughs> Here to service your plumbing. So Brad is who Instagram started calling Mr. November because when I did like a wrap of everything that happened last year in November, we were on his boat. So <laughs> the boat. He's got a boat. I don't know if you guys knew this. He's a boat. <laughs> he's a contractor. He's hammers and stuff. That's where that comes from. Yeah. Boats and hose. Would you have another baby? No. Glowing? She's done. I don't think I'm having any more kids. Yeah. Kind of. After the don't make it complicated divorce and everything got into the place where it's a chapter of my life that's chapter closed. kelsey mcdyer asked pure bar or orange theory i've never been to pure bar but feel like i need a change what is that i honestly love both both so why she put the l on there she said both the heck i'm gonna go back to orange theory i think what is I was thinking theory? like for summer because what is like orange theory like is like you get juices and kind of want a little change up but i've been doing pure bar and i love both i think pure bar the reasons why i like it is it's so fun orange theory is fun too but what is pure it bar's music i like that it's all women oh like fitness centers so much girl power i know stuff girl power and boat, boat power when you're there i love how it works out every single part of my body and I feel like it really... Oh, it's like a circuit training thing, <coughs> I think. I don't know. It helps tone your body in all the places where, like, I want that extra toned look. Tight so I, over, I love, like, the workout. I love how it makes my body look when I'm really committed to it. What I like about Orange Theory, though, 
because I feel like that's where I need to break a sweat. Like when I'm like, okay, right. I'm like Tense. ready to get sweaty. Um, With boat guy. Um, because thing about PRBR, I feel like you can go running your inside your PRBR, and I mean, you might have sweat a little bit. But you're not ever gonna come out like dripping and disgusting. <laughs> if you're not dripping and disgusting, what's the point? Speaking of which, I gotta clean my gym and get going. She's right. I gotta go hard. I have this thing though, and I think it's tendonitis. And apparently it like takes months to heal tendonitis. And if I keep lifting stinks, I have things to do. I can't stop living my life. I don't know how to beat this. Is there a surgery? I don't know. Tendonitis is killing me, man. I don't know how I got, it must be from the mouse. I don't know. It's like from, uh, from just using a computer a lot. I have no idea, but it hurts. Tendonitis ain't nothing to mess with. I can't even pick up like a normal thing that's not even heavy like this hand cream. I can feel the tension in my wrist and my elbow picking up this hand cream. That's how tough it is. I'm not kidding. It hurts. Of course, theory, I feel like I would come out and be like, holy cow, I need Can I box with tendonitis? Because I got to sweat it out somehow. I mean, I must go left-handed for a while. Can I lift? I suppose I could do my squats without my wrists. Like, I can't, I don't think I can do bench press. Can I do shoulder lifts? I don't know what I can do. Dang it. Shower, like, that was an intense workout. It just... I think it's like what you're looking for out of your workouts too. Okay, these questions are dumb. Staying in shape, but get back to the boat guy. I feel like I'm like sweating and intensity, and yeah, if I need to like to get a lot of like, I know I'd say like anxiety out. <laughs> that one worked really, really well for me, but I like both. Enchanted Bell said, "What does your family, non-influencer friends, and boyfriend think of your social media job?" Is it though a job anymore? Like, do you really? Is it? Like, if I go to Social Blade, let's take a look. She's no growth, but she's done in the fast 30 days, 389,000 views. Okay, so she's not making nothing. Probably pulling in, you know, probably likely 5,000 or that. Probably 5,000 American, something like that. Interesting. She got a lot of spikes of losing a ton of subscribers. Like, what happened there? Why is she losing thousands of subscribers? What'd she do? I haven't been following her, so I don't know. Wow, the growth curve. Hey, sorry. So is this your job still? They seem supportive. And I would say, yeah, I think everybody, I feel really, really fortunate in that, of that everyone has always just been very, very encouraging. I feel like that was one of the hardest things for me too, to talk about when I did start dating. Because- Is his name Brad? Brad, listen up, buddy. The snark is real with Bree. I wonder if Brad has watched my videos on Bits of Bish. Has he seen them? I do remember the one where I got Exposing Family Vloggers, a series on PPP loans and got, copy got copyrighted for it. Terms and policies, crazy. Wow. As my life is online. So mm -hmm. I feel like it's just kind of common anyways that when you meet someone, you might look up their Instagram or their Facebook. That's what I'm saying, right? Dang, I made mine unpublic. And you can pretty much see everything. Except for one video that says Bits of Brie literally shows her bits. <laughs> um, <laughs> but at the end of the day, and I think that's why Brad and I do just work. Oh, Brian. It was Brad. Because he not only kind of checked everything out, but I was. Did he? Brad, did you check everything out? Brian, whatever your name is. Did you? Even the fake videos that were really gross okay it was just very open and honest like i got to a place that she's like look you're gonna run in this guy's name's dad challenge podcast <laughs> he's just a hater and i finally like reconnected where i was just like if anything's ever gonna work like i just have to be myself and like put it all out there mm -hmm. and somebody's gonna we know, know. Like, the package that they're getting basically yeah, and the they're package gonna deal. They don't. um because i'm not gonna change myself I'm well you did change yourself you got fake boobs so you are going to change yourself. Stop lying. I have to be myself. That's, don't say stuff like this when you changed yourself. And you either like me or you don't, you know? That's true though. So. And we don't. I feel like with him, I was just in. The his boat? Right zone. Oh, that was his boat you were in. Um, quite honestly. And. We mean right, what does that mean to be in the right zone? Like the zone where he parks his boat? He was. In his boat. Ready and wanting all oh. of it, so. Here we are. All of what? I think it's really nice to be in a relationship with somebody who just lets you be you. Is she low-key thrown? Well, maybe. I mean, 
you were always like, I don't understand like like she's throwing Adam and Bus maybe deserves it because he's a wanker, but uh, you had a YouTube channel were you not you? Nothing seems to have changed from then. So what are you saying right now? Like that's low key. Sh like I get it, but maybe we're something we don't know. Like always let you be you. You were always this person on the internet. Um, I never feel like I have to be fake or I. Uh, that's lie. You kidding me, right? So are you? What? The whole thing you per put forward bits is fake. All of it's fake. Can't like share how. I'm because you were going through this massive craziness with your marriage. Didn't tell anybody, even though you're like, I'm so real and raw. And then just like one day, oops, we're done. Like, and, but all the meanwhile, all your videos were showing you being like super happy and amazing. So, okay. Or what I'm thinking and, and it is, it's just nice. Like there's, I think such a difference too. And. And I would just say that to anybody, I don't know how many of my viewers, maybe like you're looking for somebody. I think like having compatibility with somebody in their boat can only ever like truly take place if on a boat you're both genuinely yourselves on boats. And then you know you're truly compatible. Like they can't be okay. fake with you to can think you that swim? you're compatible. You can't be fake with them. How so that, like, far they, does your boat go? They think that you're compatible. Does like, it have be beds? Yourselves and. Can you fish? I feel, again, I just am like so grateful to have learned all the Boat boating. Lessons that I learned, oh. and all the mistakes that I made along the way. Starboard, port side, she made those mistakes early. To finally be in this place. Uh, to be in his boat. Um, where things just feel so different. And I also- I don't, I don't know what know, she I, said. I feel, I feel more like myself than I think I've ever felt in my life. After getting fake boobs? Okay. That's like, they all say this. Like, it's me. This is who I'm supposed to be. I was supposed to have bigger boobs. Where are you? And it's really, really nice. Alexis Walsh 97 said advice that you would give to your younger self. Find a guy with a boat earlier. <laughs> I think the biggest <laughs> advice that I would give to my younger self is I wish I would have just used my 20s to figure out more what I enjoyed and more me. I think that's just it. Stop. You literally filmed your life. It was all about you the whole time. Get wrecked. Like I think over the last Get wrecked. 10 years, I have learned. You've literally traveled all the world with girls, doing dances at parties, like everybody's peeing in a pool. You've done it all. You've done so much for yourself. You moved to Hawaii. You've done a lot for yourself. Come on. So much more about- How much more could you do for yourself? The whole thing was about you. Me, who I am, what I- Your channel's called Brianna K. I call it Bits of Bish. I wanted out of life what I enjoy doing and you know, at 22, 23 was when I started dating my ex. And gosh, I think back on like who that girl was. And there was obviously glimmers of who I am now, but I had no idea what I truly wanted out of life, out of marriage. What I Okay, so you're like 20 years later, 10 years later, whatever it is. She's 32, 36, 30, I don't know. She's 40. I don't know what she is. Okay. But she's like, I truly didn't know what I want. Now I know. And she's doing the exact same thing she was doing then. So, okay. What's changed? Lies alert. I wanted to see in the world um, what I wanted my like every day to look like. And yeah, I've, just, I've changed in so many ways. Time and I wish that at like 22 or 23, I had just taken the space to what, explore party more? that more. And like what? Get I want the details. To what? Go to more piss parties in Vegas? I don't, like what? Just gotten different opportunities. You got tons of opportunities through your channel. You went to London with Micah. You've been partying with lots of, you've been all over the place. You've done tons and tons of stuff. What were you changed about that? You made millions, I don't know if she made millions. So she's made hundreds of thousands, for sure. Used to really figure out what it is I wanted. Cause I think but like point, she also had a big um, Instagram and everything else. So she's making money over there, all that kind of stuff. So like just, just on YouTube, she made decent cash. More of like, this is what my family wants me to do. Um, or like, this is what I was kind of like raised to do. Um, or she is, deleted like, a bunch. My friends are doing instead of really thinking about like, is this right for me right now? What, just, she's just talking about marriage, right? That's all she's talking about. Cause the rest of the stuff you did for yourself. Um, and yeah, I wish I had just, I wish I would have taken more time to. What she's saying is she retrospect now knows that Adam is a butthole and wish she didn't marry the butthole. Be myself, figure myself out. YJ wow. Simple 66 asked, what are some of your favorite springtime activities? Pickleball! To do with the kids. Oh. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait for it to get warmer. Um, <laughs> it's just starting. Winter's just, oh no, she did this in March. So yeah, 
my bad. Say hiking. That was one of our favorite things to do in Hawaii too, or just going to the beach. Like I love going, even here in Cleveland, um, there's- I love mosquito farming. A couple of beaches on the lake, and I just love taking them there. And just having picnics outside. Picnics and going and to the stuff. playground. Just getting all the sunshine that we can get, because- Tanning. You know, like, Tanning makes me look bad. It's been pretty rare here in Cleveland to have <laughs> Cleveland. any kind of a sunny day. Um, there was snow again this morning, and I'm going to kind of go off on a tangent. Like, that's why I have not even started spring cleaning, because I just feel like I'm not even in the mood. The house looks immaculate, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to be able to open the windows and get fresh air. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it just, it has. If you closed your eyes when we were covering Micah, they sound identical, by the way. The Except Micah's. Like, imagine her plugging her nose and talking. That's what Mike sounds like. Like, it's time to spring clean here yet. I feel like sometimes I would do it way earlier when it was still cold out too, but I don't know. How I do you spring clean a clean house? Like, for us, it's like we're throwing everything out. Toys. It's gone, man. Old pants. Spring cleaning at our place is like, let's do this. I think I got <laughs> obviously used to Hawaii having the windows open and hanging my sheets out outside. I miss that so much. I miss my sheets being dried in the sunshine from the Hawaii breeze so badly. Like, that was just okay. There's mosquitoes though. It's like the best feeling in the world to get into those sheets at night too. But listen. Um. Okay. Anyways, I what if there's mosquitoes caught in there? Told the guy. Imagine getting a mosquito up in your lady bits. Dang, that would hurt. Does that ever happen? I'm not trying to be weird, but I've had mosquito bites on spots near the taint okay near the sack because i remember i was at algonquin park this years and years and years ago and i just my shorts were just hiked up a little because i was sitting in a chair and my legs were up and my pants were up a little higher not like anything was exposed nothing like that it's like when i was a teenager and i got mosquitoes in there and got a bite right in the crevice a couple of them actually dang it was itchy okay itchy just saying has it ever happened to you and what do you do if that happens? On a tangent. Um, but yes, I feel like I just cannot wait for the weather to warm up here and to do more stuff outside with the kids. Itchy Bits, that's her new name. And it'll be fun this year too. Bits of itchy. Too, because I can add boating into- Oh, the boating, the boat comes back. This guy's like, I think he's like taking a, she's using me for my boat. Pretty sure she actually did a video with this guy's boat. Yeah, there's super early Halloween clean and decorate the boat. She's been, oh, she did get a boob job. Holy smokes. Uh, boat tour. Clean the boat with me. Holy smokes. She got to this guy because she just needs something else to clean. He's not even using this guy for him or his money. She just needs to clean his boat. Bits, you can come clean my house if you want to make content out of it. I still have some of your cleaner. Or was that Love Meg? That's Love Meg. Yeah, Never mind. Enjoy the lake. And Cleveland is a fun place to live. I mean, it's, it's not. Don't say that. It's Ohio. You enjoy all four seasons. All the Ohioans are going to be like, uh oh. Excuse me? <laughs> I've been to Youngstown. It was actually kind of nice, not gonna lie. I just think Cleveland is great because we have the lake and there's like so many different things to do. There's beautiful metro parks here. There's guys with boats. Um, so when the weather is boats. nice, it's a really nice place to it's be. It's not, Christy don't lie. Hammer 18 asked, do you have a nanny? No. no, I do not have a nanny. I did just about a month ago get a babysitter. She Ooh. comes for three hours, two days a week. Just to kind that's of not an any, but that's kind of, I think take a little so I can get out with Briad off of me because I could feel like I would be pretty productive on some days, and then I sort of realized like on Wednesdays. Where's Adam? Can he do some stuff? I wasn't. I would like get like backed up on. Does stuff. he have no custody at all? What did you do, Adam? And then I didn't want to take work into the weekends anymore. Cool. I think that's probably one of the biggest things. Plus, we're boating all the time. And stuff. But I've just kind of changed about my work schedule. Is I would... we gotta give it to her. Hiring a babysitter so she's not like bringing her kids around new dudes all the time. It's smart. It's smart. Good for you. More power to you. Power to the pineapple. Work basically every single day um, and not really take time off. But I think that that's one of the she best. She over enunciates with her lips too much and has started noticing that now. Do you guys see that she does that too much? Like I was boating outside in Cleveland in this winter out here in Hawaii mosquitoes on your taint things I've learned that was a mistake I was making if I was just letting myself burn out because I was working every single day I mean, you know on social media you can post every single day on Instagram or just sometimes the behind the scenes of what it takes to put YouTube videos together you're constantly working and 
I think all of this made me realize like, no, like when I have time with my kids on the weekends, I want to be dedicated to them. And then even on the weekends when I don't, and they have I time on the be in the boat. <laughs> be for me, like I need that rest. I need that fun too. Um, and I think that's one of the hardest things about when you're a mom and a wife. Just you start doing so much for other people, and if you don't make that time for yourself to rest and have a little bit of fun too, you just lose yourself so easily. So I think this was a huge just a wake up call for me. Uh, you can't. The question was, do you have a nanny? Do this to yourself anymore you can't just keeps bringing it back to the negative it's not like you bits of bitch you used to be a positive polly now you're a negative nancy you're grinding like this you're so burnt out um and yeah i'm again i'm so appreciative for all the mistakes that i made me and too just kind of me too all the lessons I've me learned three and where i'm at right now <laughs> Do you have a nanny? Well, let me tell you about how crappy my ex-husband is. Point being, don't have a nanny, but I do now have help. It's been for the last month, and it's been amazing. Like, she is so great. She's helped, like, clean up some stuff while she's here, too. And just, like, those little things. You're like, oh, my Clean up your, your place is clean. Oh, my God. It's so nice that I just didn't have to put away the dishes. I think she thinks, like, if there's, like, some mail on the counter, she's, like, anxiety. Like, oh, yeah, it's so messy. She's the type of person you bring over to her house for Christmas. It's like, there's, like, mind the mess, and it's not messy. Okay, it's not. Um, on this day, so I'm just so appreciative of her, and she's just wonderful. Oh, well, pay her, so I'm sure she's appreciative of being paid. Mainly just with Hayden, because it's when the older two kids are at school, and she's just so wonderful with him. And oh, so you do like daytime? That's different. I thought it was like going out with boat guy at night. He like will stand by the door and like call her name when <laughs> she's leaving. Even do it. You blame? So 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 cute. So she's sad. Wonderful. I'm so grateful. A couple okay. of questions because I was wearing this shirt. Where is your top? Why do girls call shirts tops? It's because it's the top part. Do you call the pants bottoms? Top and bottoms? These are bodies. Nice are bottoms. Do you? Do you? Hey, check out these bottoms. I'm going to buy new bottoms. No, it's pants. You say pants. Top. I've never heard a guy call it a top. We are different. We're different species. In the question box on Instagram of people asking for the link to it. It's um, from Amazon. So it's I'll from the flower police business. I get down in the comments below. Aldi Jana Karadsta asked Easter baskets. Um, oh, actually, like, um, right? I'm stuck with the Easter baskets, and it's going to be... I don't the, care. Next um, question. I, do, I don't know. I feel like I loved so much just being by the beach and being coming soon. Allison Hartrick asked, is there anywhere else besides Ohio that you would like to live? She just said Hawaii, man. In the mosquito farm. Obviously, my heart... <laughs> half of my heart is in Hawaii. Why? Um, lived in a tra um, $1.3 million trailer. I will miss it, and I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I'll get back there someday. Boat guy's got a boat. Maybe you can sail there. Or take the boat there. Can you do that in a regular boat? Just go across the ocean? Can you do that? Or do you need, like, a sailboat? Because, like, what if you need gas? Are there, like, barges along the way you can just buy gas? And if not, business idea. Barge gas stations. We have Twinkies, too. It's like a 7-Eleven, floating 7-Eleven. It's a good idea, Slurpees. Like, could that be a thing? You could, like, map it out so the people are doing, like, long treks on a certain pathway in the ocean. It's like, yeah, you can go because there's 7-Elevens and little groceries and stuff. Ha! Business. Business. Um, and I do, I don't know, I feel like I loved so much just being by the beach and being by water, so... The water that you were near, though, was mosquito-y. We had talked maybe about, like, Florida um, as being a... I love Florida. Possibility. Florida's nice. Because obviously you guys know, like, Disney. I love Florida. Special. Florida's great. You guys ever been to the Beer Cap Beach that's near Anna Maria Island? It's... Have you been to Anna Maria Island? I would die to live in Anna Maria Island. Like, when I'm old, my kids are done school, I'm snowboarding, and I'm going to live in Anna Maria Island. Okay. It's happening. I don't care. It's do I don't care if I have to live in a tiny home on the beach. I'm doing it. A place in all of our hearts. So okay. I could definitely see maybe either like Florida as like retirement or if like mm -hmm. an opportunity ever arose there. Ted like what? Tessa Burger asked biggest insecurity. My nostrils. 
Well, it was her boobs, oh, gosh. apparently. I feel like so many of truly like the insecurities that I have gone through throughout my life have been things that changed by surgery. Oh. Opposite. I've outgrown, if that makes sense. You've grown. Um, but I would just say currently, like, I think as a mom, I just, I want to be such a good mom for my kids. So I guess I would say, you know, failing as a mom. Um, what? Feeling like I'm not doing everything that I can as a mom for my kids. That's stupid. So, Let's go. I know. So you can probably relate to that. No. I just feel like every day you're learning new things as a mom. And as your kids get older, there's new things that you're dealing with. Like math. Math changes. Facing and... You know, navigating divorced momhood <laughs> and all of that. It's been just a lot of new things and quite. Her kitchen looks like my kitchen, except where that door is, my fridge is. A struggle, and I'm sure I've made tons of mistakes, but um, yeah, I would say that's probably like exactly like my kitchen. It's just wow, it looks just like my kitchen. Wanting to be the best mom that I can be for the kids. Okay, next I'm question. Of this. Morgan G1230 asks, what's your favorite thing about yourself? My Nostra. Um, I have to say that I've gone through some really hard things. Some publicly, a lot of things not publicly. And I've always kept going. And I mean, what's the alternative? And I don't know if you want And to you filmed it all too. So. say that's resilience or <laughs> capitalization. I'd say it's capitalizing. I don't know. Um, cuz I don't I thought you guys are your teeth cuz they're white. I think it's necessary. They're white AF. Necessarily strength cuz I felt very very weak and very very humbled. Um Man, would you like to know the tea, the true story of it all? Would you not like to know the whole true story? I, I think being able so to You got to keep it secrets. Keep going and I'll keep doing whatever it takes for my kids to have a good life. And You're not making that much money online, but I guess, is it cheap to live in Cleveland? Plus, don't forget, they bought this house way before the housing boom. So she probably, the, the value of this house has probably doubled since they, and don't forget, they bought and sold a house in Hawaii at the same time they owned this house. So they're making bank somehow. I don't know how, because it wasn't on year. I don't know how they were making as much money as they were portraying, unless he was working a really good job. But they made money. They clearly did because they went to a vacation home in Hawaii and like maybe she just deleted a whole bunch of videos and that's why it only shows 80 million views. But like they stayed, I think they paid like $40,000 to stay in that house in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Crazy money. Just also to be kind to myself in the process of learning and growing and knowing that I'm going to keep on screwing stuff up. Sometimes. Right. <laughs> I keep learning and trying to do better and fix those mistakes and not repeat those mistakes. <laughs> like divorce? Okay. Um, yeah, I think... The guy's got a boat and he's single with a boat. Red flags. That's probably one of my favorite things about myself is having the courage just to keep going. And get on strangers' boats. Um, okay! Yeah. Thanks for that. Thanks for that question. Thanks for that positive cock bulliness. Thanks for that. Thanks for that over... What's the word I'm looking for? Thanks for that toxic positivity. Or, I don't know. And I hope you do that for yourself. If you're right? I hope you get on strangers' boats. Think about what your favorite thing is about yourself. Um, What's the favorite thing about myself? I'm going to say... I'm going to say my snark. <laughs> my ability to snark. And just how amazing you are. Because that's, I think, the best thing about our... Oh, community. my gosh. Let's go! Oh, premieres so if you haven't joined a premiere yet i would love to have you on one it's so fun <laughs> to chat it's not fun and just get to know everybody but there's just so many women that are so encouraging and we're all going through different Divorce? things oh. but we keep going and we're here for each other holy yeah. shnikes baskets video a lot of you have asked i don't care oh, that's the one where i don't talk about her anymore that was straight hot garbage that was balls i'm sorry i put you through that my bad for putting you through that video. Everybody, take a deep breath. <sighs> hey, just calling you up, saying that was a dumb video. Boat guy, you even just went on his boat, then left, then you got together. Where's the rest of the story? Not happy with that, loser. <laughs>
Guys, thanks for joining me in this. Hope you had some fun in today's snark video. Happy snarkmas to you. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing incredible and amazing. Don't forget you are valuable. People need you here. Protect your kids. Don't over whiten your teeth because it's probably pretty dangerous. Okay? But you do you because you're some kind of something. And I will see you when I see you. It's that time of year. DCP is here to snark and to jeer for these buttholes to hear. Don't forget to book your pap smear. Snarkmas 2023. Ho, ho, ho! Nana, you son of a bitch!